Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play where the escape button doesn't work and we play Civilization 5 as America. Now in the last episode we managed to deal with a barbarian encampment which was down here and one that was over here. We're going to hopefully heal up and then see, I think there's one just above here maybe, uh, which is truddly, tr truddling, troubling Budapest. Oh we can actually see Darius now. That's not nice. You are going no, no, go north, get land north. This computer, why you expand toward your enemy, and then you backfill when you when you have time. Next turn, I wish, really wish I could set a preference to which one we want to be working for. It shouldn't be random. I should be able to click on it and say I want this one next. So teach us to number our days, so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Okay, Bible. You heal up. You heal up there, actually. And you're gonna. Really don't like you being at the bottom of the hill. You should have got to the top of it, but obviously you can't do. Now we've got a large empire, so the road will come in useful. Uh, writing. What does it allow us to do? Open borders, treaties. Not too fussed about actually. Uh, could try for the Great Library. A normal library is actually nice, so yeah, we'll go for that. Next turn. And you get here, then that should show us whether we have a cause. For... Actually, you're staying on that hill. That is great range. Obviously, that's one of the America's special abilities, though, so we should expect that being good. Boat almost dead. He's trapped in this little bit of water anyway, so he's just going to be an annoyance to us. You come under this hill, and fog bust. One more of them, sort of like here, and we've got most of this area covered. Next turn. Wouldn't mind actually exploring this coast just to double check that it is the coast. Um, but for the meantime, we're going to keep on our expansionary. Policies. Uh, you can take. From where you are, open terrain is what's going to be worthwhile. But how long are you going to be there? But we'll give you that for now and just alert for me. You. Can fire. Okay. And you get the finishing, you get the XP for it. I like that. Now, with whatever moves you have left, are oh, you out of moves because you've attacked? Uh, we'll go for next turn then. I mean, you'll get on this hill, and that's going to be another good area sorted, and I think that will be us sorted for barbarians. Come on, on that hill. On that hill. Good, we can use the next luxury resource now. No, no, you, on that hill. Oh, that's a lot of area we've got fog busted. It's just here where the barbarians might spawn, then. You can take... I'm not important now but hopefully we'll carry you through for a long time so take the one for against cities that's another turn next turn three more turns we'll have the granary which will get us a lot more food and will help us towards the settler even more at the minute it was 15 remember it was 15 uh, turns to make the settler I think after we finish the granary, it should be a lot less. You alert here for me. You build me the plantation. And next turn. Somebody has built the Colossus, which means they wasn't building the Great Library. So we might still be able to get that as well. Uh, unless the work gets... Uh, bad people. I want to build as close as soon as I can. One, two, three... So I think it's going to be here, and uh, tell him as a preference, or if I could, grow out this way. City of Boston wants whales. Well, I don't care what Boston wants, because I don't know where any whales are. And next turn. 
I mean, I don't even know where the Arabians are, but I've seen their troops almost constantly in this game. Uh, you are supposed to be alerting on that, aren't you? Choose production, you finish me with that. A working out, a settler now takes 13. Oh, that made a lot of difference, didn't it? Uh, let's see, choose production. Granary isn't going to be that worthwhile for you, is it? You've got one source of deer. So I'd be trading two money for, uh, one money for two food. That's a free citizen, I guess, that's being supported. I, I need to look at it that way. So the city can be one size larger. Sorry for the entirety of this squeaky chair, but uh, I had to move. You could work on Stonehenge, but that's going to take an age. The stoneworks. It requires it to be improved. What does the stoneworks do again? Happiness, maintenance, and production. Oh, and it more production on the stone itself. Well, let's see. We're going to need more workers. They're quicker to build in the capital, but... Mm. We'll go for that, because I want the stoneworks there. So that means down here, all these would be two production tiles. That's just tundra. So if we have one city here, then another one here. Uh, fish. One, two, three... Yeah, I, qu I quite like that. So we've got plans for another two cities here and here. Oh. People are friends. I didn't expect that happening this, this quick. So you see, it's not as a... S well, I don't know if people have been guessing about what type of map and stuff I'm playing on yet. I know. Uh, but I was curious if any of you lot can work it out. When we have, at the minute we have this lovely curve of land here. Are you kidding me, I actually have nothing to do next turn there. Hmm. Watching the next year and again, nothing to do, so we'll go for the next turn again. It's because I'm fog busting instead of exploring. We may adopt another policy. Thank you. And we will take... I think that basically counteracts one city. Because for each city it gets another 33%. So that... Happiness for road network. We don't have a road network yet. So we'll actually go... What was that called? Republic. Five... In every city, plus 5%. On constructing buildings. Oh yeah, that's nice. We'll get that. That should make everything go a lot quicker. Actually, that is made a good bit of difference. I'm happy at that. Then again, for this worker here, being that it was over, well, it's currently 24 turns, it means it's getting 24 extra hammers, doesn't it? So, and next turn. I'm starting to question whether I should have uh, fog busted here, if I should have let more barbarians spawn and just kept killing them in. You know, Farming the XP. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. I could argue that, but I'm not going to. We don't have mining yet, do we? These are making all this money and we don't have mining yet? Holy oh, cow. And that's my phone. This recording session isn't doing well for being interrupted. I'll be back shortly. And we're back. And this time I will actually start a timer. Which I didn't before. Um, work there, which for some reason I didn't before where I clicked it, um, I think I clicked it, but for some reason I was clicking start and it was starting at zero and just not beeping, uh, but it's working now and thankfully that means I'm not going to have overrun this episode so I'm not going to have to uh, stretch it out and split it into two without the proper intro and closing, so that's all good and we need research and we're going to go for mining because the four sources of gems I don't know why I didn't go for that a lot earlier. A unit needs orders. Although seven turns is 
too long for you to not to be doing anything, so build me a farm. Annoyingly, that's going to take you eight turns, uh, but next turn anyway. So I'm going to help this settler. One, two, three. Yeah, that's definitely a city spot, as is one, two, three here. Now, they're going to be really close, but they're going to have lots of land to claim. I think they'll still be perfectly good cities. This one's going to have lots and lots of food. And this one's going to have lots and lots of production. Next turn. Neither, oh, one of them on the coast at least. I really do think that ships should be able to move down rivers. I guess it's a scale thing. And I'm just clicking through these turns because apparently I have nothing to do. Uh, but apparently it's a scale thing, you know any river I guess but you see London's built on a river so and you know battleships used to go down there but then I guess cities would have to be built over like four squares minimum three squares actually that wouldn't be a bad thing if cities was on three squares next turn <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing now because I'm just clicking through turns but I'd like to see cities more spread out over a turn because why should a unit take up the same space as a full city? You almost finished your worker. Hey, your, your... Damn, he's expanding down towards me. Wouldn't mind another city up here. It looks like it would be good on production, but poor on food. And Budapest may have to come under my protection. And by protection, I mean dominance. That's crappy land. I wouldn't mind another city here just for the land's sake, but... It's going to be terrible, it's just going to add unhappiness. Busiest people in the world is Unmet. Wu, who, as far as I'm concerned, is Unmet. I've seen one unit. Unmet. Darius, who I can see, annoyingly, he's right near me. Unmet. The Arabians, who I might have seen them almost constantly, but I haven't seen their cities. Unmet. The Americans. Oh, that's us! Yay! Unmet. Unmet. Asker. Unmet, 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 As you can see, it is a rather heavily populated world. Anyway, as always, that was a timer. And uh, hopefully it's at the right, about the right point. But as always, thank you for watching. And goodbye.